Good morning, my name is David Lane. I'm with Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is November 1st, 2017, and I'm about to perform a video inspection of the main line of 3024 East Indiana here in Spokane, Washington. Called out to a main uh, line backup and um, uh, just cabled the line um, 120 uh, plus or minus feet. Um, inserted the camera, found the line open to the sewer. Now we're just going to do a recording on the way back. You'll always be able to tell where the excuse me. You'll always be able to tell where the bottom of the pipe is by where my camera light is, and also by where the water is flowing. Bottom of the pipe is on the right hand side of the screen. Um, what we're looking at there is the city sewer. We have um, uh, some slow moving water in the city sewer. Uh, and we're pulling back into what looks like to me a concrete hub. A hub is what connects um, a homeowner's main line to the city sewer. There's a good picture of the sewer there um, and the abrupt stop of our pipe. And then we transition right into um, clay tile pipe. The homeowner is responsible for everything from the hub back to the home. Um, the most problematic areas in clay tile pipe are the joints over time the ground settles and offsets and um, the joints separate and they create a pathway for roots to uh, grow in and such also when a joint stair steps up um, it prevents the flow of water downhill and um, can create pooling we never want to see any standing water in our main line there's a little chunk of root there um, that's just free falling, it's not uh, connecting anything. Um, we never want any standing water in our main line. We rely on a quarter inch drop per linear foot. And um, the separation and the offset I was just talking about, there's a good picture of one. You can see where the pipe ends and the other starts and how there's not a smooth surface there. Doesn't look like that's going to impede the flow of water much, but in the right angle and with the right offset it can impede and impede the flow of water um, pretty substantially. Um, bottom of the pipe is in the uh, still on the right hand side of the screen and now it's transitioning to the to the bottom of the screen there. This clay tile looks great. Some, type, some pipes we see every single joint is just overrun run with roots. And here is where we transition into the Orangeburg. Um, on the permit, this pipe is uh, clay tile in the street, and then it transitions to Orangeburg uh, at the property line. Um, now, Orangeburg is a real problematic pipe. It's uh, made up of compressed tar paper and wood pulp. And it only has a life expectancy of 50 to 70 years, whereas like clay tile, cast iron, cement, we're looking at 125 plus year life expectancy under the right conditions. Um, and as you can see, as I start to pull back, you can see the misshapenness of this pipe. How there's how there's some standing water there. You can see the like blisters and such on the sides of the pipe. Um, like I was saying before, a quarter inch drop per linear foot is the grade we rely upon. Um, there's some roots there growing through that blister. And you can see how the pipe literally just does isn't a circle anymore. Um, how far this, out is it? Um, this is 35 feet from the city sewer. Um, it was starting to be introduced right after Pearl Harbor in 41. We started seeing it in 43. The permit on this house said 76. So um, that you can see this range of, uh, of years this stuff was starting to be put into the ground. We thought we were saving money, you know, on metal and things like that for the war. But um, it's wreaking havoc in our sewer systems today, that is for sure. The blisters are starting to dissipate a bit, which is good. Not as pronounced. There's some as kind of see a valley forming at the bottom. Um, Orangeburg has three li uh, stages of life: blistering, 
then ovalization and eventually and eventually it collapses. Um, it's just nasty stuff, you know. It's just real nasty stuff. When we lose our smooth surface, um, our waist just has trouble um, traveling, you know, 100 plus feet to a city sewer when it's not traveling along a smooth surface. Little chunks of root there, that's just remnants of the cabling. There's a pretty big blister there. We're working from a clean out in the back of the home, so we wrap around the home and um, are at an Indiana sewer. You can see here where the circle is pretty much gone. Look off into the distance down the pipe and you can see how uh, it's not a circle anymore. Okay, here we're coming into a looks like it's squeezing down in on itself, and we have roots growing from the top of the pipe there. Cable did a good job clearing them out. That's 70 feet from the city sewer. We'll be able to, so we have 35 feet from the city sewer and 70 feet from the city sewer. And then once we get an overall distance, then we can um, pinpoint those. And also, if you'd like, after the video inspection is over, we can also locate those, if you'd like, with a locator. Okay. It looks like that. Excuse me, sorry about that. Right here. Looks like the pipe's in real bad shape right there. That's a looks like a quarter or something. That is a quarter. So, but the pipe here, you can see we go we go from right here, then we drop, boom, drop into some water here. And my camera lens is an inch and a half thick, so we know this water is at least an inch and a half thick right there. And then we come up over these massive blisters um, so the pipe seems to be in real bad shape in this area we're coming over just some huge blisters I think that's the reason for the water standing and then I'm coming up out of them all the way but you can see that that's back into the water here that section of pipe was pretty, pretty rough. Right here, it looks like the whole bottom of the pipe has rotted out. Um, if you look at the center, a little to the right of the center of the screen, the shiny black um, part, that looks like an edge of a pipe to me. Um, and then you can see um, a little bit, you know, upstream from it, towards towards us. Um, you see it just looks like a hole, the real abrupt edge right there off to the right hand side of the screen. That's a, 
that's never a good thing to see in a pipe. Just pulling into the water here. Just passing 95 feet from the city sewer. The width of what you see is actually methane gas. Pipe doesn't look bad at all here. And here we transition to the to what looks like the cast iron. Sorry, the methane's kind of obscuring the view. Does look like a little bit of ovalization. You see the streaks of white across the top, how they look, you know, elongated. Transition to cast iron. Cast iron stubbed off from the house three to five feet. A little more in this case, it looks like. Looks like it wraps around. Or excuse me, that was actually just a cast iron fitting. Excuse me. Yeah, that was just a cast iron fitting, and now we're back into Orangeburg here. Another cast iron fitting. Straight cast iron coming back. And now we're coming up out of the clean out here. So we have about a 115 and a half feet from the city sewer to the bottom of the clean out, plus or minus. And here's the clean out we're working out of right next to the um, shrub here. Again, my name is David Lane. Today's date is November 1st, 2017. And that will conclude the video inspection of the main line of 3024 East Indiana Avenue here in Spokane, Washington. Thank you very much for choosing Bulldog Rooter.